Ask any MK fan why Sonya Blade is so dead set on capturing or killing Kano and the answer will invariably be that Kano killed her partner and she's out for revenge. This is indeed the case for pretty much all MK media from the 90s. From the 1994 Jeff Rovin novel, to the 94 to 95 Malibu comics, to the 95 movie, to the 96 animated series. Some of you may have noticed that the game series, the original version of the narrative, was not included in that list. Yeah, hard as it is to believe from how ubiquitous the concept was, Sonya never had a murdered partner in the games. Even after the movie, it wasn't implemented into the game's storyline. I can only assume the series had some kind of bible that these other sources were drawing on, unless it was a domino effect of influence. So then, what is the reason in the games? We have no idea. No explanation was ever offered. Maybe it was planned to be explained in MK Special Forces before Sonya was cut, but as it is, it never really was personal between them in the games. Presumably, by the time of games set later in the timeline, like Deadly Alliance and MKX, she's been after him for so long that she's just determined to finally succeed, which makes it painful that original Sonya doesn't get to kill him after a decade, present Sonya doesn't get to after three decades, but past Sonya does after only a few years at most. MK11 has an intro that alludes to the idea of Kano killing her partner, but it's between Kano and Jax, with Sonya never once bringing the subject up. I don't accept this though, as Jax has a number of intros that just blatantly make stuff up, like when he and Kung Lao reminisce about Duncan Reptile in the Deadpool, an event that never happened in any MK media, and when he claims Sindel broke his neck when it's clear she stabbed him in the throat. So you see why I'm hesitant to accept this as canon. And before we finish here, let's briefly go over Sonya's various partners and how they died just for fun. First came the novel. Here, Sonya's partner was named Cliff Ladols. He was Sonya's martial arts mentor and fiancé. When he refused to help the Black Dragon, Kano shot him six times in the back. In the Malibu comics, we have Lieutenant Lance, who is unique among these men as he is not already dead prior to the story. He travels with Sonya to the island and competes in the tournament. He sports a bionic arm that can extend and cause electric shocks, earning him the nickname Sparky. Kano defeats him in the tournament and rips his heart out. Next, we have the movie version. While unnamed in the film itself, the novelization names him as Bill Van Hoven. As stated in the film, Kano slit his throat ear to ear. Finally, we have the Defenders of the Realm animated series, which names him Wexler as a nod to one of the show's producers, Josh Wexler. Being made for kids, the show has Wexler killed off screen in a bombing, which Sonya herself narrowly escapes. Interestingly, the games have had a good setup for a similar character since the beginning. Back in the MK1 prequel comic, Sonya's bio lists her as having a twin brother named Daniel who is deceased. They plucked Herman out of that bio for a cameo in 2011 and said he was dead, but never Daniel. Imagine if someone went and made Daniel part of Sonya's narrative. Wouldn't that be something? If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you. Today's recommended video is the Nethercast retrospective on Sonya. It's over four hours long, which means it's longer than Kane and Lynch 2. FOUR HOURS LONG! Also, if you know any more good MK videos, please let me know because I'm running out of stuff to shill.